Oh, oh, thank God you're all here. Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad that I can make it. I almost didn't make it. Um, and I'm, I'm wearing this mask to uh, protect my identity so that I can't be identified um, because I'm, um, I'm a fugitive of the Slab City Justice. They've, they've got, uh, they, they're tracking me and that's, that's why I'm <laughs> hiding my identity from you, um, so that <laughs> you don't know, uh, yeah, who I am. Welcome to the live stream. I'm about to lay some really heavy shit on you, like, like, this is the real shit from a real, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, from a real actual person that lived in Slab City, an unnamed uh, uh, person uh, giving their account of the real terrifying truth of um, what really goes on in Slab City. Because I tell you what, they don't want you to know this, but... Um, there is absolutely a uh, shadow government and um, there's a president of Slab City and like a secret police and it's absolutely terrifying. Um, just one second here. I um, need to... I'm, I'm not getting stoned on marijuana. This is my... <laughs> truth serum <laughs> um yeah so that I can tell you <laughs> the real actual terrifying truth of what really actually happened to me <laughs> so um yeah I moved into Slab City in 2014 year round and I had a camp that I built and um you know, but uh, then, yeah, I was distributing supplies to the community, um, and that's not like a code for books or anything, uh, or whatever. Yeah, and uh, and and I I stepped on the wrong toes, and um, um, uh, yeah, I was there for. Since 2014, all the way till, I feel like I kind of officially, like the, la the last time I spent more than a few days in Slab City was last August. I was there for the month. Uh. And then, um, oh, that's, ugh. oh God. And then um, before that, I left actually in May of... Uh, 2021 I think so it's been a little over a year since like I officially left um so that's kind of cool if you didn't know if you haven't been following along then uh you might not know that um so I occupied a space in Slab City from 2014 to 2021 uh that's 14 15 16 17 18 19 holy shit that's yeah that's seven years um and I became Definitely a part of the community, one might say. It, possibly even, like, uh, a respected member of the Slab City community. Um, and it it was good. It was good times. I made a lot of friends. But there's a, um, a dark underbelly of crime and murder and homeless dogs that steal cheese right off of your kitchen fucking table. And they didn't want me to expose the reality of the gang activity. Um, and that's why I'm here, because I'm going to tell you the secrets that they don't want you to know. And that's why I'm in hiding in this bunker. Um, this is my... Um, this is my uh, anti-slab police bunker in a state very far away from California. They'll never find me here. And I've got the signals all scrambled and stuff. And that's, again, that's why I'm wearing this mask. So you don't know who I am. I'm protecting my identity. It's very, 
um, important that that nobody knows that it's uh, who it is that is telling you our um, super clandestine slab city secrets. Um, so one of the uh, one of the crimes that I witnessed while I was in slabs, like I said, um, was the the homeless dog cheese stealing ring. Um, they were very organized and you couldn't leave your cheese out anywhere without homeless dogs coming and stealing it. It was, it was an epidemic of major proportions and it, they don't want you to know that, um, that there's that kind of thing going on out there. And these dogs were shooting up, uh, heroin and methamphetamines right into their veins and then they would go and steal cheese and sell it for more uh drug money and um they they're they'll bite you when you're not looking and if you try to speak out about the homeless dogs with the drug problem and the cheese and the biting they they don't like that they don't like that at all so very unsafe for a person that tells the truth around Slab City among all those absolute, absolute reprobates. It's, uh, another thing that I saw was, um, there was a sex ring. Like, people were going and, like, doing circle jerks and stuff, and I was very offended by it, so, um, yeah, I tried to expose them for that, and they got very angry at me, and now I'm, yep, now I'm hidden in a bunker. Um, the, um, yeah, anyway, let's see what, what chat has to say. We've got, <laughs> I knew it was the goddamn dogs. Yeah, you, dude, it's, like, that's just the tip of the iceberg, man. Those dogs have, like, um, drug smuggling in slabs, too. Like, that's why you see so much drama on the Slab City forums about people, you know, shooting at dogs and stuff and running them out of the yard. Every, like, there's, that's the secret. There's an underlying subtext that you read there. Like, the, the dogs are the actual... I'm about to reveal some really heavy shit on you, but um, that's who runs the shadow government. It's the fucking Slab City dogs. You ever seen the roaming dog signs uh, in Slabs? That's They put those up. The, the dogs did because they actually run Slab City. That's where all of the drugs are coming from. That's where all of the thieves are coming from. Um, that's, you know, every time... Every time something gets set on fire, it's the fucking homeless dogs that steal your cheese. And we got to put a stop to it. They, you know, they're the real reason. Oh, and also, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I can't. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. Oh, and don't even get me started on the bottle kids. <clears throat> Those fucking bottle kids. You can't have anything nice in slabs. They'll, they're not just throwing bottles because it's fun and it, it's hilarious. They're throwing bottles because they're, like, they're paid off. They're paid off by, um, um, Builder Bill pays off the bottle kids. That's what, and, you know, so... That I that's that's what happened to my car. That's why I don't have a car anymore. Um, cause the bottle kids got it, and and Builder Bill put him up to it. That fucking guy. He seems nice. He seems really cool and nice, and he puts on cool shows and music for everybody, and has his own YouTube channel, um, and everything. It's called Welcome to the Range. But he he doesn't want you to know that he's. Um, paying off the bottle kids to ruin your car. Um, I mean, they don't really need to get paid off, though. They just do it because they like it. Pretty sure. 
Um, ooh. Oh. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, shit. Oh, yeah. Wait. No, you know what? I don't know. I think I'm tired of the mask. Mm. Yeah, this is actually an antique Japanese mask. Um, but I'm still, uh, you still don't know who I am. I, there's a face blur effect that I'm going to add in, in post-production. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a little hovel here if you'd like to see my cave. Wow, I fucking wore that mask for almost 12 whole minutes. That's, take that ADHD, holy shit. <sighs> yeah, coming to you live from a studio in Burbank. It's uh, my goblin hovel, yay! This is the goblin hovel. Pretty cute, huh? Yeah, yeah. I am. I am really hiding in a bunker from the homeless dogs, though. Um, that part was not made up. I'm. I'm actually completely terrified of the Slap City Shadow Government, and um, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's that's a real thing. The, the Slap City Shadow Government, for sure, and they are pissed at me for telling you all about them. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's why I left Slabs, and um, Zoe. Zoe is a kingpin in in the slab hierarchy and she kicked my ass and threw me out of the library. She was like, hey, Corn, uh, I'm going to kick your ass because you're a piece of shit. And then she threw me out into the street and it was so terrifying. <laughs> yeah, that um, that really happened. <laughs> mm. Oh, actually. Mm. Yeah, I can't think. Uh, what what other conspiracies have happened? Um, what has there been any fun rumors going around about slabs lately? I want to know because that's that's. I'm I don't pay attention to that shit, uh, so I'm really out of the loop. But um. Oh, there, oh, Zoe's in chat. She's badgering me. She put out a bounty for my leg that, uh, yeah, she put out a $500 bounty. <laughs> and, and it got took. I don't have, yep, my leg is gone. Um, because it got stolen, um, by a bottle kid who made out, like, gangbusters with 500 bucks. So that's pretty cool. Good for them. I mean... You know, stealing people's medical equipment is a felony, but I ain't mad. I ain't mad. You gotta respect the craft. Uh, okay. Wow, this lighting makes me look f fucking phenomenal. Wow. I'm fucking... I'm looking pretty good today. Wow. Oh, alright. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Chris Morton says, you're going down, Zoe. Oh, yeah, Zoe, I'm coming back, and I'm going to exact my revenge. Um, I'm going to have to carve my own uh, peg leg out of wood, though. I've already got the log picked out, so, uh, yeah. And um, so I'm coming for you. If I carved myself a peg leg, I bet my dog would try to eat it. She's one of them! Oh my god, Satan, you're working with the homeless dogs that steal cheese. How could you? Look at this Dougal. <laughs> Satan, are you one of them? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, you're just gonna show me your butt? Fucking psycho. <laughs> Fucking psycho. Mm. Yeah, Satan's gathering intel, but I can't even be mad because she's so fucking cute. I'm not right. Oh yeah, check this out. I'm drinking some Green Belt. Yeah. That's uh Green Belt Seltzer. Green Belt is made in Minneapolis, which is where I'm from. Um and you can't really get it anywhere but Minneapolis, so 
Uh, yeah, it's definitely not where I'm hiding out right now. Um, from the Illuminati, the slab, the Illumina, uh, there's got to be something cool. To s slab Illuminati, Illuma Slabbies, I don't know. Eh, whatever. It's a working, it's a work in progress. The, yeah. <laughs> Fucking, they're after me. <laughs> oh, the Slabinati. There we go, that's good. Mm-hmm. The Slabinati. There's like 12 disciples of the Slab City president who may or may not be a dog. We're not sure yet because there hasn't been a character reveal. Um, but maybe, maybe we'll find out. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Holy shit, we almost got 200 people in chat here right now. That's pretty cool. So for any of you who have never been on my YouTube channel before, um, like, on the real, um, I am a former curator of Slab City Library, and I um, lived there for about seven years, built out the space that's there now for the most part. There is still the original library there, and the current curator is Zoe, and it's about 100 degrees in the shade in slabs right now. I don't know if anybody in chat is in slabs currently, but if you are, throw up your fucking uh, temp observations. I want to know. It's got to be, yeah, like 100, 102 in the shade, I bet. Hmm. Oh, yeah, and if you like my dumb fucking show, then please give me money because I'm fucking broke. And, um, so what else is fucking new? There's links in the description, um, the Venmo and the PayPal, those are direct. You can do, um, you can do super chat donations, but I won't see that until, like, the end of the month, and YouTube takes a cut. Also, I have a Patreon. Oh, and also there's a link in the, the description that leads you to my friend Emily Mayer's comic book that just came out, and, like... It's good stuff, so you should check that out. At least take a look at it. Um, and whatever. Follow me on Instagram. God damn, this light makes me look good. Mmm. Hey, thanks, Kim's Nature Channel. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Fuck yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely not in <laughs> Minneapolis, um, hiding out in my bunker. Well, I am hiding out in my bunker. That part's true. Um, but... Yeah, um, you can't really get this shit anywhere else. It's funny, but it's really good. It's my favorite. Um, there's a lot of actually pretty good booze that comes out of here. I mean, out of Minneapolis. Um, mm -mm -mm. So, there's... Um, there's a lot of, like, rumor mill shit about slabs, and I have done a similar live stream to this one before that was, like, kind of, uh, more of a parody, but, um, you know, I'm super down to talk about slab shit and clear up a few, um, misconceptions during this live stream, and, um, I really like this background, so I'm just gonna go with the I'm hiding from the slab police, um, angle, and you can all just choose to believe it. Um, but, yeah, if you have any, like, okay, so, any other time during live streams, I ignore slab questions, um, because I don't want that to take up my whole channel, but if you have questions about slabs, um, feel free to ask them, I'm here for it. Or if you don't have questions, then that's cool, too. <laughs> um, and also, if you're into uh, if you're into this live stream, hit the like button and the subscribe button, please. I have had really slow uh, channel growth lately, and it's starting to kind of get frustrating. So um, I'd like to beat the algorithm, please. Um... I've been on the road, uh, for the last 
over a year since um since I left the library in May and I did a crazy adventure and I documented that. It's called How Far Did uh, How Far Will My Two Hundred Dollar Car Go? And um after that I started doing some well, I was back in slabs for a month and then I went and got a work gig in North Dakota and um yeah so that's what i've been doing um lately i've been doing some pretty cool ass adventures and i'm not filming right now but i will soon um deanna mack is asking about the slab city library posts on facebook talking about be maybe oh um so our facebook or there is a fake slab city library facebook account um, and actually I didn't even think about this shit when I was thinking about doing this live stream. So, and thanks for bringing it up. Um, uh, there's another person that is not, um, part of the library that, uh, has a really big hate boner for me specifically. And I'm not sure why, because I was really, really nice to them. Um, but, uh, yeah, so they started, um, uh, an alternate Slab City Library page on Facebook, and they started a website. Um, I think it's slabcitylibrary.com. So actually, you know what would be really funny is if you go to slabcitylibrary.com and make up like a really fucking stupid story about me and submit it. Uh. Because the whole point of that website, um, excuse me, thank you, Mad Mad Mike. Appreciate that. That's really kind of you. Um, so the whole point of that website <laughs> is um, to attract people to submit um, like shit talk stories about me and they're all like very silly and made up and like they're trying to make me look really bad. Um, so yeah, if you want to submit your own uh, story or account of how I like ate your puppy or something. <laughs> Or, you know, came and kicked you in the face while you were taking a shower, for an example. Um, that would be really fucking funny. Um, but otherwise, just ignore it. It's not a big deal. But yeah, that person is um, not mentally well. And when you're... Um, sometimes when you are a person that knows a lot of people, a lot of people know about you, then there's a lot more people um, that you'll meet that are fucking weird and um won't like you and then they'll make it their life mission to talk shit on you so um there's that and that's definitely not the first time i've had that happen um it's unfortunate but what are you gonna do i ain't shook though because <sighs> people that know me know what i'm about so it's um yeah yeah thanks for asking about that that's that's cool. I'm glad we got to address that. <clears throat> Jesus, uh, Tito Jesus de Sosa says, I live in Lisbon, Portugal. Glad to hear you. How much funds do you typically need? Um, I live off of maybe a thousand bucks a month. Uh, if that, like, I get a lot of food for free when I can. And I don't like, I don't typically go out to eat or, um, you know, go to bars or whatever. Sometimes I do. And then I regret it because then I'm broke. Um, but usually I have about a hundred dollars in the bank. And that was true. Um, when I lived in slab city as well, like, but in slab city, I could store my stuff. So it was a lot cheaper to live actually. Um, and then also I was bringing in money um with donations from people coming to visit the library so i had that hustle along with the youtube hustle jamie robinson is in astoria that's so cool i love astoria oregon captain grim says one million dollars yeah i would i i would be able to live on a million dollars yes please um hell yeah i love astoria that's cool Deanna says, thanks for cleaning that up. Oh, so cordial. Zoe says, the official library page has many more followers and the header 
is the front of the library. You can easily tell from the posts. The official, oh, okay. Yeah, the, um, yeah, the official Slab City Library page. It's just Slab City Library, not Slab City Liber Liz Lizard Tree Library or any other ones. Um, yeah, I should start adding um, that link. And, and it would be cool for us to make like an actual, you know what? Nobody goes to fucking websites anyway. There's no reason for us to make a fucking website. Facebook is fine. I mean, if you want to make a website, you go for it, Zoe, but yeah, whatever. I honestly don't even think it would be worth the effort. I'm just catching up on... Jill says unfollowing now. Bye. <laughs> See you later or never. I love it when people announce that. That's so good. Let's, thank you for your feedback. <laughs> Maybe they really thought that I was telling the truth. And then when they realized that I was like doing a bit, they got like really upset. I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh, they actually thought that I was being serious. Okay, well, maybe I'm, maybe I am serious. Maybe, um, I don't know. Builder Bill is, um, my arch nemesis. Ah, big reveal. Nobody saw that coming. <laughs> oh, God. Bill's gonna hear about this, and he's gonna, like, hit me up, like, Corn, what the fuck are you saying on the internet about me? And I'm gonna have to answer for it. Oh, dear. I'm- I'm in the soup now. I'm fucked. TJ says, people still message me to try and donate books. That's fucking wild. Do you tell them to- what do you tell them? I wanna know. <laughs> Konami says, anyone know what anime character that mask was? I thought it was, no, it's not a, it's not a character. Where'd it go? It's like, I mean, maybe it is, but it's just uh, an antique mask. It's from Japan. I don't think it's a character. I think it's just like an old person. Okay, I'm in hiding now. I'm protecting my identity again so that nobody knows who I am. Um... Yeah, they're gonna send the slab SEAL team over here the moment they zero in on my coordinates. They're very organized because, you know, um, no society can actually exist without some kind of government. That's why you know that there is a shadow government in slabs and um, they're coming for me. That's why nobody can know who I am or where I am. <laughs> Earthworker says, where did Corn go? Ah! There's, yeah, I am now a person in a mask and you don't know who I am. Oh, uh, we got a, a question from Carly's Beautiful Life. You plan on ever going back to the slabs to live? Or just going to, um, whoops, I got a notification. Going to visit once in a while. Um... I mean, there may be a time where I would stick around for a few months if I'm trying to get, um, like, my teeth fixed or get medical shit. That's kind of the whole reason why I wanted an address. But um, I'm not looking to be in one place for very long uh, anytime soon because I was sitting put at the library for seven years, so... <clears throat> that's a long time <laughs> for a traveler for somebody that like has the nomadic spirit that's an un that's an eternity that's an eon um so yeah i'm not looking to settle up anywhere for a while but i have a feeling that you know we'll figure it out as we go TJ says, I tell them that I'm not even there and they have plenty of books. I'm not in charge of it and never have been. <laughs> Why do they message you? What the fuck? How do they find you? I usually tell them, like, I tell people not to send books to the library at all because, like, there's enough people bringing them in 
and they're like they should be sending them to like halfway houses or their local jail or foster homes or something um or like battered women's shelters because like those places have the worst fucking books and those are the places that you need books the most so yeah that's what i tell people like Look for, like, real shit houses and fucking, that's where you send your books. Or leave them at bus stops, I don't know. Like, yeah. Zoe says, it's my library now. Ha ha ha. Hell yeah, it is. You are my, my fucking queen. I serve you in the library. It's, yeah, that's fine. I just need an address so I can get medical shit, like I said. Mm -mm -mm. Cheat the system, baby. I fucking made up that address. TJ says, I'm not even sure how it's wild. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, I know that your, um, your flyer for Slab Cab was up. Even it, like even last year it was still up. I mean, I'm sure it's like sun bleach now, but maybe they just saw your number on the fucking uh, shed door or something. You should definitely go back and check it out again, though. Like um, building out the shed and making it all nice and organized and shit was really nice. And the kitchen is like all built out now, too. And Zoe's been doing... Um, her own changes, so I don't even know. Not sure. I was there for a couple of days, like, a few weeks ago. <laughs> Earthworker says, books about cheese stealing dog mafia is banned. Absolutely, yeah. There's, there's a totalitarian grip on the people of Slab City. The dogs can like control what I do and do not distribute from the library and anything that is against the cheese dog mafia um is strictly prohibited we have to like distribute those um in secret circles like speakeasies and stuff that's why there's so many um like business fronts and slabs that don't actually do what they say they do like you know, it's it's actually just a bodega. And that's how we distribute the cheese dog mafia um, pamphlets and such. That's why the library is so important. We're the last bastion of freedom and justice in a cheese dog world. Oh yeah, Mad Men Mike, thanks for reminding me. So, um... Uh, they said, speaking of speakeasy, join Discord. Yeah, there's a Discord link at the bottom of the description, and it's a really, really cool Discord server, so you should check it out. And we should do another speakeasy session, for sure, and do a, do a chat later or something. Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe we could even do it like later tonight or something. Yeah, why the fuck not? I don't know, we'll figure it out. So you're gonna make me choke on my fucking seltzer. <laughs> First rule of cheese dog mafia is you don't talk about cheese dog mafia. God damn it. That's like, this is how this is evolving now. Okay, so it looks like I've got a couple of new patrons on my Patreon. Thank you for, thank you for that. I'm, I'm gonna drop some fresh pictures from my, um, uh, <clears throat> um, my traveling of the last uh, f fucking couple weeks. So there's a lot of really nice pictures of me traveling and you will have access to those as my patron. <clears throat> just keep an eye out for them because they look really fucking hot and I'm just letting you know. I'm just, I'm overselling it now. But yeah, I'm gonna drop some shit. Not some actual shit, but like figurative shit. I might drop, drop some actual shit later though. Mm -mm. Carly is asking another question. I haven't watched all of your lives, just found your channel recently. Are you done with subs permanently? 
No, I just answered that. <laughs> it's still my address. Oh, maybe I'm like way far up. Okay. <clears throat> Sapphire says, just figured out how to join the Patreon myself finally. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll be sure to make it pay out a little bit. Put some shit on there. Um, it is kind of hard because the app doesn't run properly on my phone, which is kind of a bummer because um, it's just like really difficult to get it to work. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but um, yeah, I would I would definitely be posting a lot more if it wasn't so fucking weird. But yeah, I'll get some shit out. TJ says, I'll be out that way this winter. I'll stop by. I sent you a few doll hairs to your PayPal. Sick. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Thanks, dude. That's awesome. All right. We got a fat kick down from TJ Culpepper and got a kick down from Jill Lovinger 2 on PayPal. Fuck yeah. Man, you must be doing some good work or like, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. I wasn't going to be uh, upfront about it, but I legitimately was down to my last $20 when I started this live stream. So I really do appreciate everybody that's kicked down. Um, yeah, because yeah. without the library hustle, it's been kind of weird figuring out where I'm getting money from. I do take um, odd jobs. So if you happen to be in the Minneapolis area and you got some fucking shit work for somebody to do um i'm your person i do all sorts of shit <laughs> mostly i found myself throwing logs or doing something with logs but um i'm actually pretty fucking handy so yeah hit me up i'm gonna be in minneapolis for probably a few weeks Fun times. <laughs> Fucking hot picks on Patreon score. Oh, man. Now you know. Okay. All right. We'll do some glamour shots for you. My Patreon's going to become like a uh, fucking, like, safe for work only fans or some shit. Wow, I'm stoned as fuck. Okay, cool. Oh my god. I'm just realizing that, like, all my mods are fucking goobers. Oh god. <clears throat> cool. Okay. Robert Redman says, holy F, just started watching at the beginning. Are you serious, Corn? Dude, by the time you see this, um, if you're at the beginning of the video, you're going to be, like, just eating that shit up. That's hilarious. I just realized that. Uh, I mean, I guess. Yeah. Bunch of weird fuckers. Biggie James asks, do you get homesick for the slabs? Um, I mean, yeah, like I wish I could teleport there for a few hours and then teleport away. That would be really cool. But, um, I don't really, yeah, like I said earlier, I don't want to be posted up anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> Robert, Robert. It's, it's a joke. Oh my god. Robert thinks that, um, okay. You know what? Yes, it was terrifying. It was a very harrowing ordeal. And, um, I barely escaped with my life. <laughs> um... Making magic fishing is asking me if I know a person, a specific person in slabs. And um, I'm not like 
Uh, I'm not here to talk, like, specifically about individual people. Um, I mean, I guess, <laughs> I guess I named Drop Builder Bill, like, several times. Um, oh yeah, there's another, uh, YouTuber that is a friend of mine. He's got, uh, his channel, Nomadic Zig, if you're interested. He just left Slabs, but there's some Slab content on there that you may not have seen yet if you're a Slab fan. White boy says, I'm sure you like not being in 120 degree weather. I, I, don't, I honestly don't really mind 120 degrees. Like after the first couple of summers, it's not really that bad at all. In fact, I kind of look forward to it because it's like being in a sauna for, you know, days and days and days. So you really sweat out a lot of toxins. I always feel really good. Eh, I work out when it's around, like I work out all through the summer. I don't Bra I try not to brag about that because that's actually pretty dangerous. Um, it's dangerous to do anything in that kind of temperature. But, um, you know, I've done it so many times that I know how to do it without, like, putting myself in danger. Um, yeah, I, I really don't hate it. But <clears throat> um, what I do hate is, like, um, near the end of the summer, you just are really, really bored and... You've been hot for a long time and like the sweating kind of fucks your skin up and uh, it's not, it's not comfortable. And, uh, also there's fucking nobody around, nothing to do. So it gets uh, a little maddening, but if you sit through the madness and you come out the other side, pretty all right. Deanna says, Zig is thumbs up. Hell yeah, that's my homie, dude. Fucking, there are a lot of other um, YouTubers that talk about Slab City that have spent substantial amounts of time in Slab City. So one of the big reasons why I decided to do this uh, particular live stream was to parody these bigger YouTube channels that will try and cash in on like, um, people's interest in Slab City, but, um, they're not from Slabs, and they've spent literally, like, a handful of hours in Slabs, and then they'll go and, like, interview the first two people they meet, and just make it look like a total shit show, so, or, or people will stay in Slabs for the winter season, and, um, then they'll get spooked and fucking leave because they pissed somebody off, or they couldn't hack it, and then in order to make themselves feel better about not being able to fulfill their um, ambitions, their big pie in the sky ambitions about having an off grid paradise in an, in an, in an extreme climate, um, they, they then go out and talk shit on slabs and then make up wild tales about like fucking gang stalking or like, you know, uh, talking about specific people like, but not really, I, I guess that's kind of the theme with this live stream, if, if there were to be one, is, um, yeah, people making shit up about slabs to kind of make themselves look less stupid, like they couldn't hack it. Uh, I see it happen every year, like, there, there have been other YouTube channels that were started based on that, like, they go and leave slabs and then they have their big bombshell video about like exposing slab city for what it truly is and then they enjoy talking shit on slabs for a while but then it dries up and then their channel dies and you know there's nothing to watch so it, it's like yeah they're their short game that's their short game they don't think about long term game um and, and then you've got like big time youtubers that have never actually spent a substantial amount of time in slabs and they they misrepresent it and then they move on to to whatever other shock video they're going to do so for them they don't really suffer for it uh people that live in slabs suffer for it because they make it look like some fucking you know like burning man outlaw bullshit and that attracts the wrong kind of people to slab city as well where they think they can just like show up and just magically have everything that they need without having to work for anything. 
And yeah, those are the kind of people that get all mad and leave and then make a video talking shit on slabs. Or several. Oh, you know. <laughs> it, it happens all the time. Chris says, my two-year-old is running around saying dogs steal cheese. Yes, the <laughs> the cheese dog mafia. Oh my god. Making magic fishing asks other really bottle kids. <laughs> um, I will not confirm nor deny the existence of bottle kids. Uh... Let's see, let's check in on my notifications here. I am sitting in the diner and I'm something my reflection. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna cover that song. Okay, so. What else? Are there any other stupid things that I should tell you? Or, um, <laughs> let's, uh, David T. asks what the fuck is going on. I'm in hiding, man. I'm hiding from the Slabinati so that they don't find me and steal my cheese. RF says, safe travels, what's good for Minnesota, and take down some dollarinos. Thank you. Appreciate you. That's awesome. Earthworker says there's a YouTuber that's been to slabs once and he knows everything now. Yeah, there's about a hundred of those types. Styles This Cell says, if I was going to make up stories about slabs, I would definitely include UFOs, aliens, and skinwalkers, and maybe Bigfoot if they can handle the heat. Okay, on the real real though, there is like some slab lore about skinwalkers that I've heard. Um, and like... It, okay, it, it actually, I have not thought about this in years. Um, so every now and then somebody comes to Slabs and they come to Slab City like totally fucking normal, right? Like seems like a totally normal person um, just passing through traveling. And then over the course of their stay, they like completely lose their mind. And then they'll show up in like people's yards and like be wandering around in the dark making weird fucking noises and whatever and obviously maybe they just got a hold of some drugs and it turned their brain into fucking putty or whatever but like you know there were rumors about skinwalkers right and they're like you know every year there's a fucking skinwalker so yeah if you want some creepy slab lore there you go there's fucking skinwalkers and every now and then somebody totally normal wanders into town it's always like a lone person and they're kind of shy and quiet and then all of a sudden like you know they've been in slabs for kind of a long time and their brain is made of shit and they just like show up in the dark and yeah it's it's weird super weird and then they'll show up, like, they'll be in your bush, in your yard, at, like, three in the morning, saying gibberish and shit. Fucking skinwalkers. Uh, and there's, there's stories about aliens, there's tons of stories about, like, the government, because we're right next to the military base, so... I, I have actually seen, um, like, fucking military craft land outside of slabs like past the library in the desert and then like there will be fucking like obviously undercover military guys that um will be passing through town or like trying to i guess the rumor has it that they're sent through slabs to do an infiltration exercise and they have to make it through slab city without being outed as a government employee as like some kind of test that they have to pass. Um, that's, that's lore. That's straight up slab lore. Um, and I mean, I've definitely seen like obvious undercover government people. There was, um, there was one time <laughs> this, uh, I don't think these guys were doing this, but I don't know what the fuck they were doing. They came in, like, 
a van that had government plates on it, but they parked out front and they all came out and they're all wearing like suits and they're super tall and like really clean cut. And um, immediately we read them as military. We were like, oh, hey, what, you know, welcome to the library. What, what branch are you guys serving? And they all look like super awkward, like, <gasps> like, oh. And, and one of the, like, one of the guys was like, um, we're not, we're not in the military. And I'm like, really? What, what's, what are you guys doing out here? And they're like, oh, we're a, a basketball team. Yeah, we're, and they're all like looking at each other all nervous. Like, yeah, we're a basketball team. And, and me and my buddy are like, oh, cool. Are you, are you here for some kind of like, you know, <laughs> some kind of tournament out here, like for your college or some shit. And they're like, oh yeah. Oh. And we're like, neat. What team are you from? And they're like, mm, it's, I don't know. And then they all just kind of like got really uncomfortable and left. Um, that was weird. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Rabbi Aaron says TRUE, training, tactical reconnaissance, urban environment. Marines have been doing it for a few decades. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that they don't do it, but I can't re I can't really confirm that that's a real thing that they do. It's just slab lore. Ooh, probably they do that though. Um, I mean, it that's like the least crazy thing. <laughs> Spooky. Mm. What else is good slab lore? Mm, I mean, there's there's always dumb hippies and talking about aliens and stuff. I oh, I have seen some weird shit though. Uh, I think I think TJ might have been there, or maybe it was somebody else. Um. But yeah, we saw a fucking spiral in the sky and not over the bombing range in the opposite direction. And we tried to find an article on it, but all we could find was that there was one spotted in Sweden pretty recently. And that was not the first one, but it was just like that, um, where it was just like this crazy spiral light in the sky that spread out. Um, yeah, the, the one over Sweden they claimed was a misfired rocket. So, okay, maybe that's, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't see how. It was very weird. Um, and I saw the same damn thing. <laughs> like, what are the odds that that's just how those rockets misfire all the time? Oh. This mask keeps getting looser and looser. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my head like um, like an assassin in feudal era Japan. <whistles> eh, no. Whatever. Anyway. <sighs> I gotta pee, actually. Um, but... I'm okay, so you get to stare at my dungeon wall for about five minutes, and it's an intermission. It's a perfect time to go freshen up your drink. And if people come in here and they're like, What the fuck is going on? Just like make shit up and tell them about the cheese dog mafia or whatever. Who cares? I'll be right back. Hey, cheese dog. What you doing?
Oh, wow, you're still here. Oh, great. All right, let's see what we got in chat here. Everyone drop a dollar to spam notifications. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Dude, I went all the way upstairs and I didn't grab a fresh drink. Damn it. But you know what I did grab? Well, hello, Satan. See, Satan's part of the fucking cheese dog mafia. This is just shameless. Look at this shameless cheese dog. So I've got some aged cheddar. I thought I was in a place where I didn't have to fear for my cheese anymore, but I was wrong. No one, no one's cheese is safe when there's dogs around. Isn't that right, Satan? This cheese, Satan. Oh. Mmm. Damn, that's good. All right. Let's see. That was a good. That was a good intermission. Satan, everyone loves you. That's why you're the perfect mole. Nobody wants to admit that Satan sold us out all along. Mmm. This is really fucking good cheese. Holy shit. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Hmm. Part of me kind of wants to take this dog has a mind control spell on me. Hmm. She's making me want to take her out to go play ball. But I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, what's the cheese version of smoke them if you got them? Uh, there's gotta be something. Hmm. Yeah, I can't think of a cool rhyme. Oh well. Eat some cheese. That's, that's my slogan. That's a trademark slogan. Eat some cheese. Say, mm, 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 mm. you want some more? Get it. Hey, dingus, look. There you go. <laughs> Carol Harkins asks. Where are you staying? Um, I am staying in this bunker in an undisclosed location in a whole other part of the country because I'm um, scared for my life of the Slabinati who has a bounty on my head and my prosthetic leg. Mm. I'm sorry, I shouldn't just be, like, licking a fucking knife like that on my live stream. Okay. Ugh. Manners. Alright. Yeah, I really should have gotten a fresh tree. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think that, um... I think I'm gonna get my tobacco and my dog's B-A-L-L... And a fresh drink and go out to what I call the park. So, yeah, we're going to have a scene change in a minute here. And then, yeah, so one second. Patience. Mm. 
Oops. We're about to shatter the fourth wall here. Prepare yourself. All right, Satan. Are you ready? Mm, damn it. Wait, where is my fucking tobacco? Oh, I found it. Hey, check out this cool patch I got recently. Wow, that's so cool. Um, I'm actually pretty stoked because that's my first train patch. All right, Satan Dougal. Satan Dougal. You ready, Pep? Let's go play. All right, let's go play. Do 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 do. Look at this beautiful sunny day, Satan. Wow. Look at this crazy dog. Satan, you're a fucking star. Look at this Dougalheimer. No, nope, this way. That's somebody else's driveway. Don't you know how property lines work? She's obsessed with the ball. That's why she's walking like a dum-dum. I'm holding the ball in this hand. Wow, Satan A, don't run into the street. Ever. Alright, we look both ways. Hey, wait. Mm-mm. All right, let's go. Jesus Christ. Okay. Hey. Hey, hey. You ready? It's pretty nice over here. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, baby. You ready to play? What a nice day, huh? Pretty great. I'm gonna raise this up again. Everybody in this neighborhood is gonna think I'm a fucking weirdo, but that's okay. Actually, they'll probably just assume that I'm taking cute pictures of my dogs. Or my dog. Why did I say dogs? Oh yeah, because I'm stoned as shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, Satan. All right, then. Drop it. Oh, wow. That's a really crooked shot. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
There we go. That's nice. That's good framing. Hey. Hey. Drop it. Yeah, how's that for breaking the fourth wall? Suddenly, we're outside in this beautiful environment. It's actually really nice today. I'm stoked. Hey, sweet pea. Drop it. Holly Harrison says, I'm too busy old for games and goofiness. Oh, well, Holly Harrison, you've wandered onto the wrong channel. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Go fuck yourself. Bye. Too busy old. Too busy old. Too busy being old? Okay. All right. No judgment. You know, you do you. I'm still locked in a basement. Um, hiding from the Slabinati. Um, this is just a green screen to uh, confuse the enemy. I feel like some of these people that take me seriously are the same people that think that the earth is flat. That's mean. I'm sorry. You're not flat earthers. Unless you are. Mm -mm. You're waiting so patiently for me to throw that shit. I am really glad that none of these neighbors are disturbed by my weird antics and presence. Definitely nice when you can play in an empty lot without bothering anybody. You know, it's just nice. Hey, Satan. All right, Bean. Come here. Come here. Drop it. Let's see. Earth worker says I'm triggered by Holly Harrison. I've been inspired to create some silly art and waste what's left of my life. Hey, I mean, people are allowed to say stupid shit, you know? Doesn't mean that they're, you know, it doesn't mean anything. Ooh, this is nice. Okay. I got a spot to sit. says it's Mama D. Oh, okay. I get it now. You mean uh, games and and shit as in like bullshit. I see. It was uh, um, a syntax uh, misinterpretation. I get what you mean. I thought you were like somebody that was angry about um because there was another guy earlier who or a person i don't know who um thought that i was being serious when i said that there were like the shadow government of slabs that were after me or something because i did like a bit at the beginning i don't know and maybe you just joined anyway if you just joined um yeah i'm in hiding right now from the slab government and this is a green screen Um, you don't know my identity still, somehow. I'm a secret undercover slabber that is now opening up about the real true 
truth about slabs. Whoa. And I'm sitting on a wooden box that is not a very good spot to sit. Oops. Okay, well, I kind of just want to take Satan out to play. Come here, Satan. <laughs> Jamie Robinson says, I, I'm so stoned I was wondering if I got poison ivy of the brain. Could I scratch it by thinking of sandpaper? That's a very good question. Um, I think that should be addressed in a very dignified and scientific manner. manner. Um, yes. I think so. But I don't know how you get poison ivy of the brain. That would be like, actually that probably would kill you. Like if it somehow got to your brain, like that would kill you, right? Like, if infections get to your brain, you're fucked. Like, uh, MRSA or, like, I don't know. Hey, Captain Grimm for the win. Posting links and shit. Yeah, get down with the kickdown. Um, it's been a really fun show. And I'm gonna finish my drink and fuck off. Fortunately for you folks, we've got about half a drink left. So if you got any further questions dispelling the myths of slabs, I'm here for it for, yeah, like another 15 minutes, so, yeah, now's your time to shine, baby. Come get some. <laughs> I always forget people drive down that, that's not like a sidewalk. Sorry about the wind, too. Carol Harkins says, what does the library look like now, I wonder? Um, it probably looks really great. When I went there to visit last, it was super clean. I did a couple of, um, like, basic repairs. Um, and Zoe also did some repairs. And, yeah, I'm sure it's looking fucking fantastic. But also, like, as far as cleanliness goes, it kind of goes to shit in the summer because it's windy and really, really hot a lot. So, like, I don't know. I tend to let cobwebs build up. But, uh, you know, that's just the way it is. Because, you know, it's, it's hard to just move when it's above 110 degrees. Much less, um, you know, get chores done. Pretty much just hunker down. JK says, History Channel just had a pilot about slabs. Um, I don't know about anything about that. I didn't see it. Um, I did see that a few people were featured in um, something that got a lot of views, so that's cool. Satan can't find her ball. I threw it like over my shoulder and she didn't see where it fell. Oh, there it is. Nice. Good job, Satan. RJK says, Waterboy the Sheriff. No, no. Nobody is the Sheriff. That's ridiculous. And if you're acting like you are the Sheriff, then you're a fucking tyrant and you need to calm the fuck down. Because the slab, Slabinati will get you. That's why. They're the real, the, the cheese dog mafia is the real ones that control the slabs. I'm sorry, I gotta shut it down. Because otherwise the cheese dogs are gonna get me. They hate, they hate me because I speak the truth. Okay, it's a little windy out here. Um, I'm almost done with this. Any other questions? I see. Captain Grimm just posted my Instagram. Yeah, follow me. I post cool pictures on Instagram pretty much every day. <clears throat> and my Patreon. Um, Robert Redman asks, how many people stare there year-round? Um, I've answered this a number of times, but yeah, there's about 150 year-round residents. That number may have inflated or deflated in the last couple years, but yeah, roughly around there. 
<laughs> Deborah Gibson asks, what are skinwalkers? Anyway, um, I mean, there's a lot of different lore about skinwalkers. Like, I don't know much about it firsthand. I guess it's based on, like, some Native American-style uh, mythology. And a lot of hippies actually believe in, like, skinwalkers and Lumerians and all manner of stuff. So, I don't know. It's weird hippie lore. Konami says, do you think the canal might dry up? I don't, I don't think so. There's too much agriculture. They, they won't do that. That's like a lifeline. That canal is like responsible for a lot of food that you probably eat. Like most of your um, produce comes from California. A lot of it does. And a lot of it comes from that area. So no, I don't think so. Not unless like the... <laughs> Not unless the country falls to ruin and, like, the state of California is no more than, yeah, then maybe it would dry up. I don't know. But by that point, it also might be underwater, so. Yeah. There are water problems, and there's, like, a whole thing about, um, they're trying to set up, like, lithium plants out there. Because there's a lot of lithium in the ground in that area, ground slabs. So that is actually potentially a future threat, um, the lithium mining and whatnot. Oh, we got somebody who's talking about skinwalker lore, nice. Cool, yeah. I don't know, I like mythology, it's kind of fun. Like. Especially local mythology and cryptology. I did see a fucking. Oh, there might be a spark still in there. Yeah. I did see a chupacabra once. That did happen. Oh, Satan. You're just waiting so patiently. joining us, Captain Grimm. I'm about to fuck off, too. I gotta finish this, and then, uh, yeah, it's time to go. <laughs> and, yeah, I hope you're all having a great day. It's beautiful out here right now. I was stuck in the cold for a number of days, and that was not fun, so I'm very much enjoying this. So we've got some more people asking questions about when I'm going back to slabs. Just go back and rewatch the live. Um, yeah, I talk about all that. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, I'm going to fuck off now. Have a good evening, folks.